Hey there, this is Magnus Boner. If you haven't done it already, smack that subscribe button for me. Today, we're going to talk about Cox. That's right, Cox. Brewery sample Cox, or Zwickles as they're also known. In the brewing industry, it's very important to keep a clean and sanitary cock. Uh, that's why we like to squirt it twice every time we use it. We spray up inside of it with sanitizer before we open the cock, and then after we take the sample, we'll spray it out again with sanitizer to keep a nice clean cock. Uh, if, you, if you left the, the beer inside of the cock, it would ferment with some beer spoilers, and essentially you'd get an infected cock. And that's what we're trying to avoid, and that's why we're doing this video. Today, I've actually got two cocks I'm going to do for you. We're going to do them at the same time. This is an old school type cock. Uh, it hinges open and shut like that. Uh, this is a knockoff of an old school Perlick sample cock. Then this other cock we're going to do is an actual Perlick brand sample cock, and this is actually my favorite cock. Uh, Whenever I can get my hands on one, this is the kind of cock I want to have in my hand. Uh, it's got this nice knob that opens and shuts. It's made out of stainless steel. The seat inside is rubber, and uh, where this one is all stainless steel inside. And uh, here in a second, we'll get down on my knees and get a closer look at these, and I'll take them apart and show you the insides and show you what makes one cock better than another cock. All right, let's get down here and really get intimate with these cocks. So first, we'll talk about this one. This is more of the uh, old school style. I think they call these a Perlick style sample cock. This one is not made by Perlick. Uh, it just opens and shuts by rotating here. Let's, uh, let's open it up and look inside. So this nut unscrews. You've got a spring under it. Then this part comes off. And then this comes out. As you can see, that has a hole in it. When the hole is lined up with the port, you can actually squirt beer right out of the cock. When it's rotated up this way, there's no beer flow. The trouble with that is you get beer trapped inside of that, that port there, and then you've actually got a fermentation taking place inside of your cock. And that's just kind of weird and creepy. I don't like that. Uh, the other downside is having the stainless steel on stainless steel surface, it eventually wears out and pretty soon you start having a cock that gets drippy. And when you have a drippy cock, then you get a bunch of sour beer and you almost get a, get, get a infection inside of your cock and that, that's no good. We like to keep them clean and sanitary. Uh, when that valve does wear out, what you do is you take some valve lapping compound, you put it on there, you just work it back and forth, work it back and forth, and uh, you, you really work that cock, and then it, the, the surfaces mate to one another again. Once they're mated, you, uh, you rinse everything off, clean it up, and then what you need to do is you need to lube up the cock. You'll want to use a real high-quality sanitary lubricant when you lube your cock. I use this Petrodrel lubricant. It works really well. You just put a little on your finger, you smear it around there, and you put it back together. Now we'll talk about my favorite cock, and that'd be this Perlick brand sample cock. This is a modern one. You open it by turning this, and that allows beer to flow through it. You shut it the opposite way. It comes apart by undoing this big nut right here. You can get a crescent wrench on there. There it is. So this just unscrews. And you can see you have this rubber piece. When you turn this knob, it raises and lowers that rubber piece. And that allows beer to then flow through the cock. The only part that wears out is this rubber part, and then you just get a replacement from, from the good folks at Perlick. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed the brewery sample cock video. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and put them down there in the comment section. If you have a... Uh, have anything specific you want to see beer related, go ahead and email me at magnustboner 
at gmail.com and uh, tell me what you want to hear about. Uh, share this video with your friends in the brewing industry, smack that subscribe button, and we'll be coming back at you soon. Thanks!